Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Alphond Arena in Orono, where tonight the main hockey Black Bears get set for a hockey showdown with the Boston College Eagles. Alongside Mike Toole, I'm Dan Hannigan. Happy to have you on board tonight. This is the EBS Building Supplies Black Bear pregame show. And Mike, looking at these two teams, Maine coming off an impressive win against Boston University, 7-0. BC's won six out of their last seven. Well, they come in here as the number seven team in the country, the number one office, the winningest coach, the highest scorer in the nation. <laughs> what could go wrong? Yeah, right. <laughs> so, uh, but you know, having said that, uh, Maine has matched up really well against BC. They raise their compete level for whatever reason. They do well against BC. Four wins in the last two years against the Boston College Eagles. Well, for the Black Bears, it's becoming harder and harder to ignore the contributions of the freshman line Brian Morgan, Cam Brown, and Blaine Byron. Well, uh, Coach Jenrid told us he really likes the way this team has brought, the, you know, they've got some chemistry now, uh, their quick strike transition offense. Cam Brown wins puck battles along the wall. They got finishers on that line and By uh, Byron and Morgan. So uh, look for them on the second power play tonight. And for BC, they only have the best player in the country. Well, any discussion about the, the Hobie Baker Award has to include Johnny Gaudreau. He's the number one scorer in the nation. Uh, he's got a, a high compete level. He's got skill. He's got speed. Maine has to be aware of him on the ice, and they have to be aware of who they put on the ice when he's out there. All right, Maine trying to continue their trend of success against BC here tonight. That's going to do it for our EBS Building Supplies Black Bear pregame show. The game is next, Maine and BC, live from Alphond Arena. EBS Building Supplies knows time is the most valuable resource you have. That's why they offer free delivery anywhere in their service area. Fast, convenient, and free, that's the EBS way. So whether you're a professional contractor or a do-it-yourself homeowner, no delivery is too small or too big, and custom ordering is always available. Use EBS free delivery to make your life easier and your home improvement project complete faster. EBS Building Supplies. Can do. Just ask. I accidentally locked my keys in my truck while stopping at Dunkin' Donuts. So now I'm sitting in the bed of my truck, sipping a latte and smiling. Hashtag my Dunkin'. Enjoy a delicious latte the next time you stop at Dunkin'. Share your story. Hashtag my Dunkin'. Today is the first time in a long time we go surfing while well rested. Time for some 6 a.m. Dunkin' Coffee. Hashtag my Dunkin'. Dunkin' Coffee. Brewed to perfection for the rich, smooth taste you love. Share your story. Hashtag my Dunkin'. Main hockey is brought to you in part by Dunkin' Donuts. The Black Bears run on Dunkin'. And by EBS Building Supplies. EBS can do, just ask. And by Hammond Lumber Company, supplying building materials to homeowners and contractors throughout New England. Visit Hammond Lumber's 12 locations or call toll-free 1-866-HAMMOND. And welcome back to Alphond Arena. Made hockey brought to you by your local Dunkin' Donuts. The Black Bears run on Dunkin'. Here's a look at the goaltenders. Brunswick, Maine's Brian Billett, the junior, is getting the start here. He started at Alphond Arena a couple of years ago. Maine got to him, scoring five goals in a 7-4 win. This year, Billett is off to a good start, 5-2-1, and one, and there's Martin Willette, 4-4-1 four, four, and one on the year. There you see his other numbers. He also has two shutouts on the season. The referee crew, Dave Hansen and Cameron Voss, are the referees, and Peter Catalano and Tom Cronin are the two linesmen here as we get set for the opening face up the puck is down and we are underway number seven in the nation boston college taking on the black bears here at alphon here's devin shore into the offensive zone throws it out in front the shot by stephen swavely goes wide you can see the lines for both teams scroll at the bottom of your screen here black bears going at the same lineup against Bo that they had against boston university and why not it's one seven to nothing last Friday and the last time out for Maine. Five Bears trying to clear the zone. They do. Here's Connor Lean breaking in. Lean right circle throws it out front. Back in to score. The Black Bears are on the board. 37 seconds into the first. Devin Shore. Well, Dan, this is just the way the Maine Black Bears wanted to start out this game. Controlling the center of the ice, Devin Shore. And Connor Lean, a little give and go through the neutral zone. They attack the blue line with speed. 
Nice little backhand pass back to uh, Shore, and he finishes off around the net. Putting the first goal of this game, Maine draws first blood. We get a look at it here as Shore goes hard to the net. That's on his back end. He gets leverage on that puck and chips it through Billet, and that put Maine up one to nothing. It was the forward, Austin Cangelosi, who was back there trying to defend Shore. The defenseman, Linnell, went for Lean. And Shore able to get that good position there. So a good start for the Black Bears. They're going to put some time back up on the clock here. So for Devin Shore, his third goal of the season. And he started the scoring for Maine against Boston University, you'll recall, last Friday night. And he starts it here. Well, college hockey, Dan, is so much about momentum, passion, energy, and this is the start that they wanted. Right from the get-go, Maine brings energy, and, uh, boy, you've got to be happy if you're a Black Bear fan, a member of Black Bear Nation, with the start the, the, that uh, Maine has started with here tonight. Here is Jake Rutt for Maine, keeping it in at the blue line. Wraps it around. Big Kevin Hayes after the puck there. He's one of the top players, now a senior for BC, as the Eagles are able to clear it out. Eagles with six freshmen in the lineup, just like the Black Bears. There's a pass out to the blue line. They try to catch Willette behind the net. It's not their freshman I'm worried about, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, though, there's a couple of them. Here's Henke now with a steal. He shoots safe. Rebound, and that's knocked aside. Billet didn't know where the puck he was. He looked behind him, Dan. And they're keeping it in as Renouf throws it out in front. Nobody there for Maine. Kept in by Surehammer. Wraps it around behind the net. Swavely. After the loose puck, can't come up with it. Now that's Lumberg hustling in to keep it in for May. Hayes trying to clear. Renouf keeps it in. Thrown out in front. Swavely can't get it on the pass from Norman. Renouf again doing a nice job keeping it in the zone. Now it's Teddy Doherty and Michael Matheson. Doherty with the puck settles things down for the Eagles behind his net as the Black Bears start with a flurry here in the first period leading it one nothing good sequence by that line and uh, great job by Renew to pinch in Rister in on Ouellette he makes a save of the blocker pops up in the air BC able to keep it in as they strip Blaine Byron of the puck now Renew chips it off the boards kept in again that's Patrick Brown the captain of the Eagles Comes around to the left point. Savage, the freshman, shoots. Blocked out in front. Puck knocked aside. Maine trying to clear. BC now with good pressure. Rister in from the point, and it's gloved by Willett. That was off the stick of freshman Ian McCosha. First sustained pressure of the game for the BC Eagles. That's the Patrick Brown line with Gilmore and uh, Smith. Wisely, as Maine's running around in their own end, uh, Martin Willett decides to hang on. Keys to the game, where's Johnny? That's the first and most important thing is understanding where he is on the ice at all times, understanding who you have on the ice at the time he's out there. Staying disciplined, that's obvious. Got to stay out of the penalty box. And lastly, opportunistic offense. And that you just saw in the goal that they scored. You've got to stay within your defensive structure and systems. But at the same time, you got to score some goals. So Maine there looking to jump into the play. Here's a good chance here for Michael Sitt and a good save by Willett. Cleared out by Maine. Steven Swabley can't catch up to the puck. BC's going to turn it back into the main zone. 0.5 goals a game. The Eagles, as they flip it out in front, kept in. Isaac McLeod, a shot tipped out in front by Sitt. And a safe made by Willette. Kept in by the Eagles. Jumping into the play is Cangelosi. Comes out to the point and out of the zone. Maine's going to change up. Coming right back in. McLeod and Goudreau. Goudreau just across the line. Feathers it ahead to Arnold. Maine trying to clear. Can't do it. Batted around. Kept in by the Eagles. Down low is O'Connor and Hutton. Maine's top defensive pairing. They'd like to see them out there as, as often as possible with the Goudreau line. Can't always control that. Here's Anthony. Can't get to the loose puck. Comes out to the point. Shot in through traffic. Blocked by Ben Hutton. He's going to escape the zone for Maine. Hutton up the right side for Hankey. Going to give it back to Hutton. Throws it out front. Hutton backhander. Score! 2-0 Maine. Ben Hutton. 
Well, I think if you're Jerry York, you might want to think about taking your time out because uh, Maine has scored two nice goals off transition. Turning defense into office, offense that time, Ben Hutton, good defensive positioning, initiates the play, just carries the puck out of the defensive zone himself, gets it up to uh, gets it up to Henke. There it is right there as uh, Hutton just skates this thing out. Now he's going to work a give and go. Henke gets a little bit of room to get that puck back to him. Look at that roof job, backhand. That's a, that's a defenseman, folks, scoring a goal scorer's goal in tight around the net, backhanded. Phenomenal. BC clears the zone. It's going to go all the way down the ice. Icing waved off. It was tipped by main stick. So a great start for the Black Bears. That goal at 416 of the first. Sherhammer in. His shot is blocked. BC clears. Here's Kevin Hayes. BC with numbers now. Three on one into the main zone. Black Bears trying to hustle back. Hayes, a backhander, and a save may. We're going to get a whistle and a penalty coming here. Yeah, it's going to go on Anthoin. He just took him out on the way to the net. That's uh, number 19, Ryan Fitzgerald. He's a pretty solid hockey player. Good job by Anthoin to, you know, take your man all the way back to the post, but you just can't finish him off like that around your own net. So the first chance for a power play for either one of these teams is we see the rush. Well, that's Hayes trying to get it over to him, and... Uh, Anthony's just going to deny any chance whatsoever that he's going to be able to get his stick on the puck. And lucky nobody was hurt there. So BC's power play is at 17% on the season. It was interesting talking to Ben Gite about that. We'll get to that in just a moment as they win the faceoff. It's kept in by McCoshin. Here's Hayes out of the corner, out front. Arnold fires it high. Around to Matheson. Now McCoshin, right side, centering pass, broken up in the slot. Maine clears it out. Maine's fortunate there. BC does a good job isolating Bill Arnold in that quiet area, that little seam that exists uh, just inside the top of the faceoff circle. Gets a great one-time shot away. Just 30 seconds into the power play. And it comes out of the zone. Man falls down. Here's Connor Lean. Lean breaks in. He shoots. Save made by Billet. Oh, boy, that was a great short-handed bid for Maine to try to go up 3-0. Now Lean still creating problems in the BC zone. Well, I was just going to talk about how much uh, zone time the BC power play had, but, boy, when you fumble the puck on your own uh, offensive blue line, you create a, uh, kind of that kind of turnover, very dangerous, and uh, Maine almost made him pay. Rutt can't clear it out. BC able to keep the puck in, and it comes out in front to Hayes. Hayes now peels back to the blue line. Across, Doherty, winds, fires, save, rebound comes out. Arnold's pass out in front. Hayes can't get it on net. Kept in by Matheson. Here's Goudreau. Goudreau back to Matheson. Matheson, Arnold out front, and thrown across to Doherty, sneaking in, and they go get it to him. Oh, great that job by Connor Riley to uh, close the back door. Now brought out front by Hayes. Here's Arnold, a shot and a save made. Goudreau tries to flip it out front, stolen away. Shore fires it down. 15 to go on the power play for BC. Thirteen twenty to go here in the first period. A two nothing lead for Maine. Fans count it down. Willette plays it to the corner. Kept in by Patrick Brown. Now out to the point as Anthony is out of the box. Maine at full strength. Fitzgerald at the left half boards. Working it down low. BC cycling the puck, Patrick Brown behind the net. Fitzgerald trying to dig it out of the corner. Renew after the puck for May. The Eagles, good possession here. They throw it out in front off the skate of Renew into the corner. Brown, the intended player. Fitzgerald, Brown shoots, hits the side of the main net. Surehammer trying to get the puck, can't get it. Flipped out in front, another shot in, and that one's blocked. Maine trying to get it out of the zone. They finally do as Anthony chips it out to center. Well, about the best you can say about Maine on that sequence is they did a pretty good job keeping BC to the outside, but they still got good looks at the net. Here's Norman now. Throws it out in front. Cam Brown doesn't reach the puck. Mike Bears unable to keep the puck in the zone. Maine again, good stick work, and here's Cam Brown moving into the offensive end. BC with numbers back. Brown waits, throws it out in front to Morgan off his stick. 
Well, it was Morgan that got him the puck in the first place, and then he got up off the ice and got down and made himself available. Brown found him in the middle of the ice. Good scoring opportunity, but really hard work there by Morgan. Scott Savage able to clear the zone for BC. Jake Rutt back for May. Puck comes across to Byron. That's Jake Rutt. Rutt's pass through center goes through everybody all the way down the ice. And that will be icing with 11 and a half to go here in the first and May leading it two to nothing. Well, this is uh, at the risk of being redundant. This is exactly the kind of start that Maine wanted. I get a feeling that they're going to need every goal they can uh, they can uh, get because uh, you see the, the potency of the BC offense. They just move the puck around the offensive zone, motion, rotation, uh, you know, close puck support, create right. two-on-ones, triangle offense, all of that. And Maine at times gets running around, doing a pretty good job, though, of keeping most of that to the outside. Here's Gaudreau centering pass to Arnold, picked off. Cleared out by Morgan. Morgan will carry it all the way in. Maine will start to get a line change. As BC steals, and here comes that top line into the main zone. Nice job by O'Connor breaking up. It doesn't clear the zone. Here's Hutton now for Maine. Chips off the boards. Connor Lee will clear it out to center. Devin Shore through center. Stripped to the puck. O'Connor follows and dumps in for Maine. McCoshin. Collision with Shore behind the net. And Gaudreau will clear the zone. Flip to the main blue line. Black Bears will turn it back up ice with Ben Hutton. In on net on Billet. Leaves it for McCoshin. Gaudreau trying to clear. Good stick work. Keep it away from O'Connor. But again, BC turns it over at center ice. Devin Shore moving back in for Maine. Passes to himself off the board, stops at the half board, fires out front. Here's Renouf in. He shoots and a save made. Oh, boy. Great chance for Renouf as he skated right down the slot. Now it comes to Sherhammer. His shot, tip, safe. Rebound covered up by Billet. 10-18 to go in the first. The Black Bears lead it 2-0. Since 1953, Hammond Lumber Company has gone from one generation to the next to the next. I've been with Hammond Lumber since 1996. And I've been with Hammond Lumber since 2011. I've been with Hammond Lumber since 1989. And I've been with Hammond since 2011. Since 1978. Since 2006. 1979. 1992. 1968. 1983. From zero to 60 and serving you better every day. Have you started shopping? Just waiting for inspiration to strike. And there it is. Done. Genius. Give the gift of Dunkin' Coffee. Get three pounds for $19.99. Only at Dunkin' Restaurants. America runs on Dunkin'. Whoa. Jeff's not even under the mistletoe. No, but he did bring the Dunkin' Donuts. Jeff. Red Velvet Drizzle and Holiday Star Donuts are here for the holidays. Share the joy with a box of donuts today. America runs on Dunkin'. Here's a look at Red Jedren, first season in Maine. Good start to the year so far through 10 games, five and four. Well, you get a look at his record, Dan, you think, wow, he just doesn't have the experience that Jerry York has, who's got almost 1,000 wins as a coach, but nothing could be further from the truth. Red Jedren has, has uh, all kinds of experience at all levels. And there's Jerry York in his 20th season at BC. Those are his BC numbers. He has 943 career wins, the all-time winningest coach. Well, just think about one hockey. Just think about for a second how many games. I mean, you add up the total number of games, it's like 1,600. Unbelievable. He's coached 100 ties. That tells you how yeah. many games <laughs> he's got. Here's Josh Hankey now for Maine. Out front, one-timer and a save. Rebound, another stop on Anthoin. Oh, man, Maine is getting some chances. Well, if you're BC, you got to wonder what is happening. Shot from Surehammer. Broken up, now pass out of the zone to Hayes. They were trying to hit Fitzgerald ahead of the pack, and Hayes actually picked that pass off. Here's Anthony through center. He'll dump it in. Maine will get a line change. What I mean by that is I'm, I'm sure they saw the score, you know, that Maine put up against BU last weekend, and, and I'm sure they expected an improved Maine team. I don't think they were expecting the buzzsaw that they're running into here tonight, Dan. My pair's after the lose puck. Bill Norman. Flips it into the offensive zone, trying to win the puck in the corner. Norman gets a piece of it. Tenacious, keeps going after it. Now Swabley a wrap around. He gets hit. Loose behind the net. 
Lomberg's pass outside is going to be tipped out of play. And we'll see if it's off a main stick or a BC stick. Looks like off BC, they'll keep it in the zone for faceoff. There's Connor Riley. He had a good defensive play on the uh, the open back door. Fortunately, he was there. Just get a piece of that puck or just prevent uh, the BC forward. I forget who it was, but had an open net to look at it uh, at one point early in the first period. Main executing their, their systems defensively, maintaining that structure that we talk about. Main does not keep it in the zone. The puck out to the Black Bears zone. That's where Jake Rudd is back for Maine. Lane Byron to Cam Brown, and here's Brown moving up ice with Morgan. Jumping in is Riley. Brown hung up at the half boards. Goes to Riley in the left corner. Now Morgan flipping it over to Byron. Byron spins away. Down low to Morgan. Morgan bumped. Lost the puck. Doherty one hands it into the corner. And now it's going to come out of the zone for BC. Eagles move in with Patrick Brown. Brown with an elbow on Riley, and he's going to get called for a penalty. They haven't whistled it yet. Now it's touched up, and Maine will get a chance now on the power play. You know, that, that whole offensive sequence, uh, I guess we'll talk about when we come back, but uh, Maine going to get their first power play opportunity when we come back. It's 2-0 Maine here in the first. Awesome. If you've been injured in an accident, this is the fifth message looking for their money. The insurance company may deny, delay, or offer to pay a lot less than what you deserve. Time. It's always on our side, my friend. Never. I repeat, never is that acceptable. This time, it's their lawyer. The law offices of Joe Bornstein. Call 1-800-CALL-JOE. The law offices of Joe Bornstein. Maine lawyers working for Maine people. EBS Building Supplies is your partner in home improvement. With a location near you, they're your locally owned neighborhood home improvement center. At EBS, they've got a selection that can't be beat and everything you need to make your next project simple. They'll even deliver what you need for free. Best of all, they'll take care of you with know-how and a smile every time, which gives you more time to enjoy your handiwork. EBS Building Supplies. Can do. Just ask. All right, back here at Alphond Arena. Today's scoreboard brought to you by Hammond Lumber Company, supplying building materials to homeowners and contractors throughout New England. Visit Hammond Lumber's 12 locations or call toll free 1 866 Hammond. All right, Maine on the power play. I was going to say, Dan, that whole uh, offensive sequence by that freshman line was in initiated by a clean breakout. And that's another thing we're seeing by Maine, breaking out of their zone cleanly. Hot in a blast that sails high. Puck loose in the left corner for Maine. Shore, and it's broken up. BC has one of the best penalty kills in the country. And just to finish that thought, the reason that's so important is, you know, you break the puck out clean. Now you've got speed through the neutral zone. You attack the blue line with speed. Everybody has to back off and respect the fact that you got momentum. And then, uh, you know, offensive opportunities are created out of that. And we've seen that on several occasions already here tonight. Eagles penalty kill at 87%, seventh best in the country. Not only that, they have four shorthanded goals. And here's Hutton trying to keep it in for Maine. He does. Looks like it bounced over the line. Now Shore, he's in. He shoots high and wide. Did maybe Billick got net? a piece. Did he get a piece of the uh, iron there, maybe? He may have. BC with a clear. Hutton will dump back in. Maine will get a new group out there. As Cam Brown is off the bench. Eagles send it all the way down. They'll make the Black Bears go 200 feet. 50 seconds left. Penalty was on Brown for interference at 11:39. Dumped in by the Black Bears. O'Connor tries to keep it in for Maine. The right half boards. Brown now out to Surehammer. Surehammer. O'Connor moves along the blue line. O'Connor holds. Out of Brown in the right circle. O'Connor. Brown looking. Brown fans on the pass, plays it down low, picked off, cleared out of there by BC. Well, just trying to be a little bit too fine. When you get the shot, take it. And uh, Cam Brown a little bit hesitant there. The play, the window closes pretty rapidly when you've got a, a good skating club like uh, the Boston College Eagles. Puck goes out of play. Faceoff will stay in the Eagles zone. 
Here's Blaine Byron getting time on that second power play unit. Coach told us he likes that uh, that freshman line, the chemistry. You could see that entire line out there. That time you had Byron, you had Brown, and you had uh, Anthoin, who's uh, who's known for scoring power play goals. Uh, but uh, look for possibly uh, all three of those line mates out there tonight. Uh, Brian Morgan may be uh, on that second power play unit as well. Connor Riley shot, blocked out in front, loose in the slot, pops up in the air, and fielding it and reaching over is the goaltender Billet. He holds on there with just two seconds left on the penalty to Brown. Well, two seconds left. It's all about winning at that faceoff cleanly. All right. Swavely will take the draw. Let's see if he can do it. Try to win it back to either Shore or Riley. Now they're going to send Swavely out of there and let Shore do it. Uh, down Shore trying to go to the net with it, but broken up. BC able to clear it out. Brown is out of the box. So both teams 0 for 1 on the power play here in the early going. Lean lost the puck just inside the Eagles zone. Arnold with Matheson. And McCoshin picked off by Riley. Connor Lean chasing for Maine. Lean can't come up with a loose puck. And here come the Eagles. But Arnold misfires on the pass. Arnold back in his own end. Pass through center. Tipped ahead. BC's got to get back on side. And O'Connor Hutton move it through center. Here's Norman now. Got a penalty coming on BC. A delayed penalty. Shot by Swaley, broken up. Looks out front, score! Ryan Lockard scores on the delayed penalty. Maine will get their power play. More importantly, they lead it 3-0. Well, while John Swaley was battling the puck in the corner, Ryan Lomberg was battling for body position in the front of the net. He fights through two BC defenders and gets there to the puck as uh, Swavely just lays there in front, and uh, there you're gonna look at it. As he gets re repossession of the puck, watches Lomberg gets body position in behind the Eagles defense and just jams that puck home. There he is right there battling Billy Arno, the centerman, who has to come back and play defense in the, in the low slot area. Ryan Lomberg just wanted it more. So May now on the power play. Leading 3 nothing. I, you know, I think Incredible. we knew this was going to be a fast-paced, high-flying kind of game. I, I, I'm, I'm astounded at how well Maine is playing. And in the early going, it's just incredible uh, the energy level that the Black Bears have brought here tonight. O'Connor trying to keep it in for Maine. It's poked out of the zone by BC. Surehammer protecting along the near boards. Now Brown with a steal and McLeod. We'll hold on to it. BC kills off a little time as they send it down the ice. I'll tell you what else is happening here, Dan. Uh, there's a lot more energy in the building these days, especially after last week. Uh, there's more people here. Uh, there's more noise. You can just feel the excitement. I kind of felt it, uh, you know, before the game started. Here's Shore now, left side for Lean. Back outside, Hutton skates in, blasts it high. Took a little happy Gilmore running start on that one. <laughs> right. Here's here's Stu <laughs> Over to Shore, Steven Swavely. Kind of telegraph that shot. <laughs> <laughs> I would say so. Billet struggles with the rebound, but he does cover it up on the Shore shot. And an offensive zone face off for Maine. To talk a little bit more about, you know, uh, how important it is to get the home fans into the game and get them behind you because uh, you're just going to need that energy level. This is a long game, 60 minutes. So far, you know, the first uh, 15 plus has been mostly Maine. And the fans are sensing it. Here's Hutton open, shoots, blocked out in front. Nice play there by the freshman McCoshin as Hutton found himself open on a nice pass from Shore out of the corner. 30 to go on the power play for Maine. Here's Hutton through center. Hutton moves in, stripped, lost it. BC sends it down. In the box is Bill Arnold, the man that Lumberg. Beat to the puck out in front. Dumped in, and it's going to be covered up by Billet for a main faceoff in the BC zone with just nine seconds left on the penalty to Arnold. Main doing it even strength. 
Oh. Uh, it's been feast or famine for Maine this year, Mike. And, you know, they had the two games here, the UMass game and, and the BU game, where they scored 15 goals. The other eight games, they scored 15 goals total. Right, that's what uh, Coach Ren, uh, Jenren pointed out to us. He wasn't ready to pop the cork on, uh, you know, winning any national titles just yet. He was cautiously optimistic. He likes the direction the team's going. But he's also realistic to understand that, you know, statistics can uh, can be a little bit deceiving sometimes. Good save by Billet just as the power play came to an end. Maine with a rebound chance. And he's able to cover it up with 3.23 to go. Here in the first, the Black Bears off to a good start. It's 3-0. 